Well, this story goes beyond Wilfrid Laurier campus, but that is where we start the discussion. Lindsay Shepard, the teaching assistant you heard there in that audio, she joins me now from Waterloo. Thank you for joining us. So uh, you've received apologies from your professor and from the university, and you've accepted them, but you question sincerity. How come? Um, yeah, I question sincerity, and I just think they're not necessarily something to celebrate at this point because they haven't made a clear long-term commitment to saying that this won't happen again. Um, and also, although Professor Rambukana's letter was addressed a lot of points and was quite self-reflective, um, he kind of made the apology about how I was treated in the meeting and made it about how he should have been better at mentoring me. But it doesn't matter how nicely you tell me, I still have a problem with the fact that you're telling me I have to make students think a certain way. And you know, you touched on it there, that uh, part of the problem you're having with the sincerity of the apology is the fact that you're not uh, seeing a sort of long-term strategy to deal with what you call the actual issue. So using your experience in the past few weeks, what is the issue here and why is it just so important? Um, you know, the larger issue at hand is a culture of, of political correctness on campus. And so, um, you know, the University of Chicago has something they call the Chicago Statement that says being offended or, or safe spaces or trigger warnings, it's not enough to suppress or silence debate. And, you know, Laurier has an opportunity right now to adopt something like the Chicago Statement and really turn this situation around and make them a leader in Canada. Um, can Canadian universities are generally um, not known for having great freedom of expression policies. And so they could really turn this around. Um, so hopefully they do. Now, with you personally also continuing to address this at the school itself, you gave a tutorial yesterday and brought up the issue. So what sort of reaction did you receive? Um, I received a lot of interest. Um, at one point, one of my tutorials actually applauded for me. Um, they're, they're very mature, intelligent, and kind people the people in my tutorials, and I, I respect them, and I hope that they respect me. And a few of them have, you know, reached out and said they, they're really, they really respect what I'm doing. And I also heard that yeah, you were in a class, uh, I believe, and the professor or the instructor had addressed the issue too. What, what did you hear? What was said? Yes. Um, so this was on Tuesday. I have, um, you know, I'm still a student. I'm still a graduate student. So I have classes with my fellow graduate students, but the professor made an announcement at the start of the class, um, acknowledging that this may be a difficult situation, but we're just going to have to move on from it, so let's get started. What so, again, it was this kind of silencing of, like, okay, we, we can't talk about Lindsay. You know, she, there was no mention of my name or the issues. We can't talk about the national news headlines that are directly affecting our university. We just have to silence it. And now, of course, we want to broaden out this issue that you've touched on, too. So in your view, is critical thinking and free speech at a risk on Canadian campuses? Yes, I think so. And, um, you know, now there's audio proof that this kind of stuff is happening, and a lot of people are really outraged by it. So is the issue here, and you're saying that you're seeing a lot more political correctness on campus, for example, and, and that can create an atmosphere that's problematic. So what is the risk to students in what appears to be a sort of politically correct environment? Um, it's counterproductive because, you know, the biggest problem I see actually is self-censorship. So, you know, in this case, um, there was actually, like, institutional intervention and, and an informal complaint and all this. But really, what what um, carries along the, the politically correct climate is self-censorship and the being afraid to say something that's kind of against the dominant ideology of, of you know, arts and humanities classes. I know I certainly self-censor, and it's, it's kind of counterproductive because you then can't hash out issues, and you're just kind of repeating things without really coming to a solution. So now, Lindsay, given the experience you've had and uh, the reaction you're receiving now, what's the likelihood or how much have you thought about continuing at the university? Uh, it's definitely something I think about every day. 
And I have lots of people trying to sway me in both directions. So, you know, on one hand, um, universities are still a great place and there, there are lots of people, as I've um, sh been shown through emails I've received, who care about protecting critical thinking and, and freedom of speech on campus. Um, so maybe I should stick with it and show that, you know, you can't push out people like me who just want to be reasonable and neutral about some things. But on the other hand, you know, maybe the, the politically correct climate is getting a bit too suffocating and I might thrive somewhere else. So I'm kind of like dealing with the tension between like those two forces. Well, Lindsay, we appreciate your time here today. Lindsay Shepherd is a teaching assistant and grad student at Wilfrid Laurier University in Waterloo, Ontario. Thank you, Lindsay.